What's up guys, it's Crash and things are getting crazy. Um, a couple things have been said today from Jeff Grove and Tom Henderson. I wanna keep you guys updated and let you know what they said. And then all in all, things are just getting kind of weird um, with, with what's being leaked uh, potentially with uh, audio out in the wild. Um, in Tom Henderson's Discord, apparently the leaker has been in there and sent Tom some more screenshots of the trailer um tom is graciously not revealing those um it's just it's a really weird spot so um as always everything's going to be time tagged in the bottom for your guys's convenience what parts you guys want to see what parts you want to listen to um first we're going to talk about what jeff grubb said on his podcast today about what time we can expect the trailer um he's moving stuff around a little bit on that and then um in tom henderson's live stream today um, he mentioned some things about um, the trailer and what goes on in the trailer, just talking about what he saw. And then at the end of the video, I'm just gonna give you guys uh, my opinion, the, the least important stuff I'm gonna put at the end. It's my opinion, if you wanna hang around to the end and discuss with me in the comments what you guys think as well, I would be honored. And just super quick, I have 661 subscribers on my channel as of recording this. That is incredible. Like imagining that many people care enough about my stuff to click that button. Like it starts to freak me out and make me nervous now when I record these videos because I'm just doing it for fun. But thinking about that many eyes kind of freaks me out. But guys, I do not take it lightly. I just want you to know that I'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated, entertained. And when the game comes out, pushing all the way through, we're going to hit it hard with guide content. We're going to study the game and we're going to get better at it together. So that's what you're going to get out of this channel. Um, I thank you so much. So, so let's uh, play a little bit of audio from Jeff Grubb's podcast today, and then talk about it just a little bit. Uh, they said, and they said soon, uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, that lined up with the early May that I heard back in March, and then so I put that in the games mess, and I, I asked again, and I was asking around, and it sounds like it did actually move from early May now to late May. Uh, so my my the timing, I, the the general timing I have right now is maybe like may or june 1st may 31st but those that, that's a monday i think that tuesday of of uh, june 1st sounds about right i do think it'll be before actual e3 because ea is not going to be at e3 and so uh, and i think that, that that timing makes some sense I, I i kind of i'm wondering why they moved it at all i don't, I don't know for sure but that, that's the that's what i heard now so later this month early june but before so, E3. So, so originally jeff was saying sometime this week and now he's saying late may early june essentially we still just have this uh may to early june time window we've always had in my humble opinion i don't think anybody knows when the trailer's going to come out including tom henderson including jeff grubb it was interesting how he said he was talking to sources like he does have some sources but it almost also seemed like damage control to me. He just gave an even wider window of when it potentially got moved to. I highly doubt things are behind schedule since they've been working on this with the most studios they've ever had or the most time of development they'd ever had. And also there's more to just when the trailer's ready that goes into these decisions. They also have an entire marketing team that does market research on when the best time to release teasers and or trailers are. So basically, we're where we were before, we're just waiting. We still expect it in that window. Um, we are definitely going to have some information on Tuesday, the 11th, that is the EA investors call. I just want you guys to know, I'm going to cover that here. I'm gonna be listening to it. I'm gonna take notes and I'm gonna hit you with a summary video as soon as it is over. So definitely stay tuned for that next Tuesday. So then I just wanted to include a little bit of audio from Tom Henderson's live stream. Um, it's honestly nothing too crazy, but he actually goes into a little bit of detail um, what happens in the trailer and kind of what we can expect to see. If you guys don't want it ruined, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't really ruin much, but if you guys want to stay completely fresh for the trailer, just go ahead and skip to the last section of the video, but I'm going to play for you uh, what Tom Henderson said about the trailer today. Well, like what happens is that the rocket sets off and then like the t the wind from the tornado like tilts the rocket a little bit and then the booster clips the edge of the building and as the booster clips the edge of the building you literally see the the panels of the building not even near the impact site like ripple and like dust flies off it and stuff like that and even even when the rocket's going up you get to see like the oxygen smoke coming out of the rocket and the condensation like just as it like as it moves down as the rocket goes up 
just like you would see um, from from a typical rocket launch, and then it clips the building, and then and then that's when the music pauses and you hear the massive kaboom, and then like the the boosters, the rocket boosters, and bits of the building and stuff start falling on soldiers and I, th I think like either a helicopter or a jeep or something like is going through the debris so that fits in with the sketches and stuff that we've been talking about it's just a little bit more detail for you guys to visualize uh in your heads what we might see while we continue to wait so anyways at the end of this video here i just wanted to give my opinion if anyone cares about everything that's going on right now so basically you have um, Tom Henderson, who, in my opinion, is actually single handedly hyping up this game right now. Um, he's honestly not revealing anything that's going to ruin the game. They're, they're sketches for heaven's sake. Um, he hasn't released the audio or anything like that. Now, the person that has supposedly, allegedly um, has more stuff and is might leak the trailer. You know, if the audio is out there. The video probably is too, so that, that might be something that happens, but I honestly hope it does not because um, the alleged 4chan leaker sent Tom screenshots and he said they are from one of the very first versions of the trailer, and that does not sound good to me. I don't want to see that, to be fair. Um, first impressions are often the most lasting ones, and I don't want to see a roughed in sketch. If you guys remember uh, the hype trailer for Verdansk 84 for Warzone leaked, and there was a bunch of drawn in placeholder assets, the green screen stuff wasn't completely done, and it pretty much, in my opinion, ruined that trailer. I honestly don't want to see an unfinished trailer. When I see that thing for the first time, I want the finished audio to hit me. I want the visuals to wow me. And I am assuming you guys are the same same way. You can let me know in the comments what you think below. But in my opinion, I really hope that they don't leak an early version of the trailer because it's pretty much, in my opinion, just gonna ruin it. You're not gonna be wowed because it's not gonna be finished, but then you're gonna know what to expect when we finally do see that real trailer. I'm going to keep you guys updated as to what's going on, but I am definitely not going to show any images of the trailer until they are official i can't wait for that the other thing i wanted to say is there's a lot of there was a lot of hype with stuff coming out and we expected stuff this week and then now it appears that we're probably not going to see anything until the next week or even according to jeff grubb maybe possibly into june and i just want you guys to stay positive right the world is negative enough out there. We don't need to be getting mad at developers. We don't need to be getting mad at social media managers for not releasing the trailer. Guys, we just need to enjoy the ride. So let's have fun getting hyped together, talking about what we wanna see in the game, talking about these leaks from the standpoint that they are potential and alleged, and we might not be seeing that when things actually come out, but we can still get excited together. And guys, I just I just implore you to stay positive. Um, don't, don't get upset and impatient it's just going to make it that much sweeter when we do see the real thing i can't wait thanks for coming along with the ride with me thanks for watching my stuff i appreciate it i think this channel stinks but i love doing it and i have fun making the videos and i love the conversations that we have together in the comments and that's pretty much all i had just stay positive and we'll see you on the next one